What's up everybody? Welcome for the first time. We're back to another DLJ Works video. And today's topic is five advantages you screen has over Patreon. Now, why am I choosing to focus on Patreon alone instead of just membership sites all in general, such as Vimeo, TT, and some other things that's out there? Well, Patreon is the most popular, but unfortunately, it has its limitations, despite it being so popular. So after using Uscreen for so long and consuming YouTubers that actually promote their Patreon accounts or what have you, I thought it would be a good idea to go ahead and I don't want to say I don't want to use the word expose, but make a comparison. This isn't a Patreon bash video. I want to do this with a lot more integrity than that, but I just want to actually just go ahead and align some things that Uscreen will give you benefits more so over if you're a video creator of any kind compared to patreon all right and then to some other things there's some other things i'm going to credit patreon for because there are some realities that people have to face when they do get a use screen account but at the end of this video the goal is to get you to see the advantages from have you make an informed choice to see the how view screen is actually going to benefit you better than patreon so without further ado let's get right into it well let me go ahead and click all right the first <laughs> clear obvious one I want to get out the way is censorship. I had to do a little bit of research on this in terms of reading the terms of service for Uscreen and Patreon and, and to make sure that all the ducks was in a row. But we know that in the past we, we have had video creators on YouTube, all right, who have jumped ship off of Patreon because of their community guidelines policies and the problem with patreon is the fact that and we'll compare price and model here in a second but i've already done a search here for you in google creators who have been censored off of patreon and if you can scroll down you can see and this was back in 2018 sam harris uh somebody who's more so on a political right so i guess patreon does show favoritism to those who have a certain political ideology that others may not all right maybe even um yeah, they, I'm just going to leave it at that. So you can also just see all the titles here. Uh, after being insisted on into Instagram, feminist activists are, and I'm not going to go into that, uh, Patreon bars anti-feminist for racist speech. So it's just all this barring and the American free speech, <laughs> uh, which the constitutional right is not applied when you look at Patreon. All right, so... Yeah, it's, it's, it seems to be such a mixed bag when it comes down to it. Now, on the other hand, when you look at Uscreen, I did the search there as well, Uscreen census creators, to actually see if there were any cases to pop up. And I know this is just the first home page, and that the, the first page is probably the most important page of your search results, but, I mean, not, nothing's going to really come up. As a matter of fact, an article that I wrote, how do these seven con creator categories Actually, one of my things that I wrote about you screen, that, that's me, Deshaun Johnson. Check me out on medium.com, all right? It has popped up here in these search results, all right? So I give a very deep dive on this in terms of how you screen is good for these types of content creators. And I give a lot of detail and information. I want people to make a very informed decision when they're using you screen and to understand the realities and benefits that's going to come with using that all right so we look at this um top 10 creator economy trends so you screen you know it, it, it tries to be i guess as inclusive as possible um i don't even like using the word inclusive or whatnot they let's just say they recognize without having to sit up here and, and bar anybody or or going the, the route of being inclusive by process of elimination and, and when it, which in turn means that they're exclusive which it seems like what patreon is doing all right, which is, they, they have a history for it. And the founder, Jack Conti, has had to speak out against that, I guess. But uh, but the par, the thing is that um, Uscreen wants to make sure that they provide their creators with a platform that will allow them to and move that out the way. That will allow any creator of any kind to, um, how should I say, make content and be able to sell that content, be able to have membership services and we're going to get into all that we're going to get into pricing later but you know look at look at that even more like every time you screen pops up you, you can actually see <laughs> even more articles that i actually wrote here all right because i have a lot of positive things to say and i think i even mentioned maybe you screen somewhere here even in this article but 
anyway, we're, we're not, this isn't here for me, but by the way, this is another, my name, it also comes up mentioned when we talk about you screen. So, um, so yeah, it seems like I'm very popular when it comes to actually vouching for you screen. Let's look at their terms of service. These terms, description of service, these terms of service are applicable to all users of uh, online media services and content distribution services and community providing services to through its website, video streaming services under www.uscreentv and related domains, subdomains, and mobile desktop. So these terms, so it's telling you like every bit, everything that's written here is going to apply in this fashion. Um, to the community that people are, are trying to serve when they use your screen services and uh, what the limitations are and that sort of thing. So, but I mean, I already have a search bar up here. If you type in, um, I don't think censorship won't be in the, won't be per se in the terms, you know, so you have to actually, if we, if we was to look intellectual property, social networking, copyright infringement notifications. So Pretty hardcore things, pretty standard fair stuff when it comes to writing your terms of services. All right, limitation of liability, indemnification. So a, a basic legal legalities that will be expected to have. So nothing over extensive. Things that would be, how should I say? Because I'm, I'm not a lawyer or anything like that. So I wouldn't actually really know how to actually write a terms of service page or what have you. But from what I'm looking at, because we're going to look at Patreon's terms of service right now, is what I'm trying to say is basically that's nothing that's going to limit you. All right. They, they have their limitations, but not in the sense of things where they have to go as far as dictating what type of content you're going to have. And I'm pretty sure they, they don't really allow pornographic material or what have you or whatever the case may be that, you know, that may be actually be a part of it. Nothing that's going to be extreme. So pretty normal stuff is what I'm trying to say. But if we look at you know, uh, you screens, not you screens, Patreons, you know, uh, community guidelines and, you know, everything else. I mean, they have violent and graphic content. They have, they, they want to make sure that they allow a certain type of content to be used on here. And this may go back actually to their, uh, to their content model, to their pricing model. Let me go back to policy, but we look at community guidelines as a whole, um, use for that. Okay. Uh, we have account deletion. I don't even think that was even mentioned in Uscreen's terms of service. So let's see here. Account deletion. Okay. Account deletion. Uh oh. Okay. All right. Nothing. So let's look at conduct here for Uscreen. The services may be used only for lawful purposes relating to streaming and usage of this platform. Uh, prohibits any use of services. And all users agree not to use the services for any purposes other than those designated by the company. So you are prohibited from violating or attempting to violate the security of the services, including without limitation, accessing data not intended for such user or logging into a server or account with the user is not. So <laughs> they're they're making sure that they're you if your users, you're not scamming over your users. All right. When it talks about your conduct and how you're behaving and everything else. Um, not really anything talking about the, the type of content like we look over with, with Patreon, but in a way that you're treating your customers when it comes to things such as uh, you spamming them or um, technical things in terms of what we're looking at. Because we look at one of the terms here, attempted to interfere with the service to any user, host the network, including without limitation via means of submitting a virus to services, overloading, flooding, spamming, mail bombing, or crashing. Forging any TCP or IP packet header or any part of the header information, any email. So basically, you're not screwing over your clients. The, the, the U screen has the best interest for you that you have in the best interest of how you're serving your own membership base. That's what these terms and your conduct is, is covering right now at this moment. All right. I didn't even see. Maybe they actually do have a community guideline. I didn't see it. So um, let's see here. Let, let me see resources terms all right no i don't want to see that so i don't really see anything that has to do with community guidelines right now at this time so let's go back here to home okay and let me see here i'm gonna hit control f again so i can see if i can find it so community guidelines okay there's nothing here for community guidelines y'all see me typing into the search bar so that's that's just what it is now when we talk about here 
I mean, Patreon is is made it manifested that um, <laughs> they, they, they want as much control as possible over the actual content that you're creating. They want to say so. And when it's proven here, we could just look at the, the, the quick Google search that I just did. All right. Um, you have a different of opinion. It's anything that's opposite. You, you will get banned. All right, you will get banned. He maybe even for Christian content, even for me being a, a Christian, you say the wrong thing. If God's against this certain ideology, we know the Bible does stand against some things that you you will be off of there. All right. Whereas um that's not the case with Patreon. As a matter of fact, I showed this in one of my videos, but I'm gonna show y'all here. Um uh, Prophecy Club. Prophecy Club. There we go. And right all right off top, you can already see the U screen logo that pops up within the favcon actually pops up within the um within the tab that's what i'm trying to say and you can also see down here where it says powered by you screen so they the they, they prophecy club then they have a lot of fringe christian content where they actually talk about you know how um the the alien conspiracy and things that deal with end time events and and several other pieces of content that probably wouldn't be favorable or go over well if they were to have a patreon so looking at those terms of services i'm not going to go through all of this you can take care of pay you can look at patreon's roles and everything else take your time to read through this and, and, and compare notes if you find something that i have not found compared with you screen to this then feel free to let me know in the comment section or, or shoot me an email or, or something you can correct me but for right now I'm showing you that you screen definitely has the favor in my book when it comes to talking about censorship. So, and that also comes down to, to pricing. I think a lot of this also has to do with pricing because you're not, the reason that people get started with Patreon, if I'm honest, this may be the one advantage Patreon does have over you screen. And that's the fact that Patreon, you don't have to pay any upfront fees when it comes to you just trying to have, or trying to actually collect membership payments. All right, Patreon is just going, going to take a percentage of the income that you earn from those patrons that are paying a monthly membership fee. Okay, so that's why probably why a lot of people go through it and so forth. Patreon is going to go forth and try to control as much of the content that you put out as possible, possibly, possibly because of the fact that they are allowing it this way. All right, so they let you know how much what the fees are going to be uh, coming out of those payments, you know, and, and how much they're going to take. Uh, they give you plans and everything else. You know, you screen, is it that way? You, you, you will be paying <laughs> an upfront price to utilize you screen services and you, they, they have three services, you know? So if you're just starting out, you can just pay $79 a month, um, a monthly fee, or you can do it yearly or whatnot. There's a way that you can actually change this to, um, you can change this to annual, okay, if I switch this to monthly. So if you do annual, sorry, if you do annual, say 20%. So $79 a month if you want the basics, 50 hours of video storage, one admin user, one, one onboarding session, email support. So they have all these benefits that you're going, that I'm going to show you on the back end with my demo account in terms of what you're going to get. But you can just try it out by just actually, if you don't want to pay an annual fee up front, which you'll save 20%, then you can just do the monthly fee because you may think this is a, too much, but if you're an established creator and you already have an audience that wants something premium from you, then this is going to apply greatly and it's going to give you the most control. And if you look at everything else here, uh, if you get the, the, the full package, you'll be able to have your own mobile app, your own TV streaming out, your live streaming and chat. You'll, you'll be able to do so much. And I'm going to show you on the back end, but take a look at the pricing and you could compare to see what's going to be in the best interest for you and your content brand. All right. So that's going to be it when it comes to talking about censorship. So we know that many of people have been censored off of Patreon in comparison to uh, you screen, which doesn't show any results at all. Maybe that will change in the future. I don't know who's to say. But for now, I think you're going to get more bang for your buck with Patreon. I mean, with you screen. I'm sorry, with you screen. So when we're talking about maintenance, all right, because I know this is a, a five benefits that this has over Patreon, but when talking about maintenance, this also goes more to more so into if you're trying to have your own membership website through something like WordPress, you have to buy your own domain, you have to get WordPress hosted, you have to set up some things, and WordPress can sometimes be convoluted 
for the most part. But in that sense, um, you don't have to worry about that with Uscreen. With Uscreen, you only have to worry about your content management. All right. So you don't have to worry about any back end maintenance or anything like that. You don't have to worry about uh, sitting up here trying to you know, back up your site or going into the, the PHP code or hiring a web developer or anything like that. With Uscreen, it gives you the option to, if you wanted to hire a web developer to add to some more custom features or to do some other things that you cannot do on your own, Uscreen gives you that option. And I'm going to show you right now that if you go to a uh, website, and if you just even just looking at right here, just clicking these dots, all right, you can get the option to edit code. You get the object uh, option to add snippets, assets, all these things. Check out snippets if you're trying to um, do something, add something to your shopping cart. You're able to do all of that. So, all right, and at this moment in time, it looks like, because I have not been back here, but it looks like they're going to... All right, uh, they deprecated this. So let's see what this what's going on here. We're updating our website to provide you even better. As part of this update, the old pages interface will be replaced, but don't worry, you can still easily access all your pages. All right, in the website editor. So let's see here. So go to customize. Okay, pricing. All right. Okay, okay, so they're going to just get rid of this. So now with the new pages, you can just add that through. So they just basically switch some things up or whatnot. So this won't be even used or anything like that so but in any case if you wanted to go ahead and you wanted to mess with some code or something like that if i wanted to go to edit code i'll be able to do that this will take uh, getting a web developer to kind of understanding what these pages and these files mean so when you go into it you can edit the css you can edit the javascript so all this code right here all these lines of code all right it's going to be definitely for the web developer to understand or i guess if you have some chat gpt knowledge that will also help you out too. If you don't want to hire a web developer and you are becoming this world renowned, this magician like prompt engineer right now at this moment. So that's something to also consider as well. But it does give you the option. But even if you're not trying to mess with this on the back end, if we go to content, I'm sorry, it's not content. But if you go back to, let's go back to dashboard. And if we go to, let me see how I want to customize. Okay, that's what I want to go to. I want to customize my theme. Then I just go to customize and I can add anything that I want to. This is uh, something I've been playing around with uh, already. I added a gift to this background right here. And you can just basically just kind of click, click on each section and add whatever you want to in a very basic way. All right, you can maybe get a graphic designer to add some special backgrounds for you. Um, I guess use some new AI tools to create some cool background images wherever the case may be you have the customization power in your hands from beginner to advanced that includes inter intermediates as well so that's what i mean when i say beginner to advanced it's all right here for you there's no back-end maintenance for you to be concerned with so i wanted to kind of keep that brief because that's that's pretty much i don't want to get super technical with you and trying to explain that but you have options so you don't have to worry about that as well i don't really know what it's like on patreon I mean, we can click on some creator. Uh, we can click on Joe Button. Let's let's look at Joe Button. All right. Let's look at let's look at Joe Button, and you know, um, it's it's just you know, it's just one long scroll. All right. I, I can't get on the back end of this to actually see because I don't have a Patreon. You know, I think I tried to have. I think I tried to help my brother have it, but. You know, it's, it's very simplistic. If that's your job or whatnot, you're just trying to just simply upload content and have the most recent here, then that's fine. But if you want more maintenance, you know, and yeah, I'm pretty sure you don't have to worry about maintenance on here either as well. It's just both of these parts, Uscreen and Patreon, is going to be content focused. But for the most part, though, this is overly simplistic. And that's where we're going to actually get into when it comes to the content management. But we want to talk about having an all-in-one solution now actually speaking on while we're here i mean you know it does give you membership options these these levels that you can look at in terms of you know how much you want to have somebody charge or charge somebody a month for your membership levels or whatever the case may be but your content people don't really have access like if i was just trying to scroll on here and i wanted to see some uh joe's old content and it's not organized i have to just scroll forever somebody told me that they fixed this it was doing something different to where 
um, you don't have to scroll forever. You can actually organize it and I guess just make it, you know, into like a website. I guess these drop downs is what's supposed to be. So let's filter by media type, but you still got to scroll. I mean, you use these filters. You screen has these filters. This, this is no problem. You screen has this stuff already and then some. And that's what we're going to go into on here as well. All right. Let me go back here. Let me let me see here. Um, all right. So let's go back here. So when I talk about all in one solution for you screen, it, it, it gives you that. I mean, we go to the let me see here. Even if we was to look at the prophecy club, look, look at this. They got all these. They, they allow you to have menu items and everything else. Of course, you probably can't look at some of the content. Well, actually, you know what? Some of the content you can have, you could allow people to actually have access to content for free and then other content can actually hide behind a paywall so if you want people to preview what your site is about before they actually buy into something you can actually set up some content to be free versus other pieces of content that needs to be premium and on top and on top of that you can make content as a single purchase or a rental so let's say for example if you're trying to make a course or whatever the case may be or you're trying to you know you got a movie that you want to sell but you know you want to make that uh exclusives out, outside of the membership or whatnot then you can actually do and set up that all right so um if i was to go to catalog on here you know they they have certain things that you can get into all right so and this says get access now but if they wanted to make this free then they just would just make it free if i wanted to just watch this guys protection in in trouble wherever the case may be so and if I wanted to actually just show you this here, let me actually go to the content. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So if I go to any, this was a, the part of the content that I actually set up. So if I wanted to go into any piece of content and I just wanted to make this available, I would just go to pricing. And where it says require access or free to everyone, I could just do that. Or I could just create a plan or I could make it a one time purchase or a rental price by just simply clicking on these check buttons right here. It's nothing. It's no problem at all. All right. Also, look at all these other tools. They give you access to um, to organize and manage your own community or wherever the case may be, which I'm going to have to do an individual video on that. All right. Uh, this is where you can manage your subscriptions. So whatever type of subscriptions you want to like kind of plan out in terms of pricing, $49, $4.99, you can do that. They also give you like sales tools so you can keep up with your own sales reports. Maybe Patreon does do that. I'm not really sure. But Uscreen definitely will provide you with everything that you need to make sure that you're successful. They care about you and they care about the, the user base that you're serving, the community you're serving, those who are members, all that. And they give you all the tools you need to do so. Your email and your even your you don't even have to get a third party mailing list like ConvertKit or anything like that. You can manage and control your own email list right here on Uscreen. Okay, check your abandoned carts, reduce churn, all these things that you actually need in order to be successful. You can even create your own landing pages. You don't need to go and have I I have a Aweber account. All right, if I have my own streaming platform. With the, I would definitely go with Uscreen and I would already know what to use them for in order to make sure that I'm as successful as possible. I can have my own landing page with, with Aweber or somebody like ConvertKit. They give you those things, but they're not a streaming platform. If you're a content creator of any sort or whatnot, they're not, they're not that. All right. So if you are in that category, you're that person who's a video creator and you're trying to have a content platform. Maybe you're even just a business person and you're trying to find a a piece of software that will allow you to bring on multiple creators and you're trying to build your own streaming empire this is going to be the place to do that you screen is going to allow you to build that conglomerate they give you your analytics based on like every author even every author that you hire or bring on if you're hiring people or you're working out some sort of business deal you know i have videos for days talking about certain segments and for the sake of this video because we're already at 24 minutes all right let me go to my youtube channel i mean i have videos for days just talking about you screen okay you can check out the playlist right here the ultimate you screen playlist 
I have all titles like uh, why youtubers should have a you screen video uh, collections and courses how to build your own Udemy how to sell courses set up and sell courses on Uscreen, jQuery tutorial I know some people may think jQuery is an antiquated but there's some things you can still do some little tricks or whatnot that you're trying to do how to add multiple languages behind the scenes uh, how you screen could be used for home improvement I was trying to target people in a home improvement space all right so this is going to be good for those who for those who are trying to get more information about you screen I have you covered all right check out this playlist and you will get all the information you need in order to understand that but it's an all-in-one solution you know we talk about um, you know easy content management system let me go back to you screen okay let's go back here if we go to content and I was to go to let me actually go to my uh, let me see where here it is right here so if I was to go here if I was to go to my catalog all right let's open that up a new tab okay so out of all those videos I added so everything that you see let me close this one out so everything all the videos that you see right here I created like series I got collections you know I also talk about that you can check that out right here in this video that's I know the thumbnail is kind of small but how collections and categories work so I'll go back here so you can actually see of that extreme of that extreme uh -oh. now, now if so all this like how to sell courses in you screen I got I got it all I explained it every little part that I possibly can and I'm still gonna be making videos collections and categories you know I talk about that in you screen and Vimeo OTT I also have videos where I talk about Vimeo OTT as well all right so when you actually look at these things you can organize create kind of collections create courses within you screen ultimate content management system you can have your category set up right here you can actually add filters which is what I said about patreon right now we're looking at Joe button and these are the filters right here boom it's already right there for you screen all right you can filter all that out um, adding Arthur's those sorts of things so it's it's nothing you can add and organize this any way that you want to making it easy super easy for your community to navigate and get access to the content that they are looking for so that's what we're talking about right now so with you screen you can organize all your content in the way that you actually see fit that's going to be beneficial for your viewers that's going to be beneficial for new customers if you're trying to actually entice and draw new people in make sure that you make a few videos free of charge freely available so they can actually see it and actually make a decision you want to be able to have people guide people to making a decision but you don't want to also make it seem like you're forcing them to make that decision if that makes sense okay you want to nicely guide them you want to nicely kind of steer the wheel in terms of helping them to get into your membership platform but you have to have something worth giving them I, I've said this in several videos on my channel that if you're going to have a streaming service I don't have one I'm a guy that just has worked with several people who have gotten you screen memberships and my experience from Vimeo TT or wherever the case may be but this is a universal truth if you're going to have somebody that if you're if you're going to have a streaming platform you have to have content that's going to give people reason to keep investing money on a monthly or annual basis to be into your content and that's going to actually the work is already going to start with you taking advantage of these free free platforms like YouTube Facebook Twitter wherever the case may be start building that list using dun 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 you screens already built in mailing services so you can start building an email list and collecting that clientele base and continuing to just drip interest all right when I say drip interest you're just dripping a little bit of information and enticing them slowly to become a member on your content or maybe you already have super fans and are already clamoring for premium content this is going to be the platform for you to where you can give them access to that so much flexibility and so many options to where uh, I guess you give the illusion of choice all right but you wanted that and that's the thing you want people to feel like they have a choice you don't want to make people feel like they um they're being backed into a corner but the, at the same time too you don't want to overwhelm people with choice because then they'll just walk away so but whatever your goals are you screen will give you 
the tools in order to achieve those goals and to serve your viewer base and community as best as possible. Lastly, multiple opportunities for revenue. I've already talked about this very briefly when discussing, uh, let me go, let me exit this. When we go to your content, all right, and you when you create any video or any piece of content you upload, it's going to always have the category of pricing to it. And you can also just choose to make it free for everyone. Um, if you're trying to have that be a preview piece of content or something to just, you know, uh, give them a bite to eat, you know, before they can entice them to see if they want the main course. And you just got all this, this customization that you're able to take advantage of. Enable one-time purchases, enable rental prices, everything. So your, your pricing customization is already there when it comes to how can you earn money with you screen but let's go back to price and when i talk about um multiple opportunities for revenue was offered okay all right so i mean this is as about as many options as you're going to be able to get yes they give you like options but you can't sell individual content this is purely a membership model all right we i don't really want to call it a content membership model but this is just a membership model to where you know you're Customers will have limited options and maybe that's good if you're just trying not to overwhelm your your customers with choice You know, you can just give them membership levels to offer based on whatever types of contents that you're doing Maybe for simplicity's sake this may fit your needs, but however in the end when you're trying to really um, When you need more than what that is actually offering you and you need to do something different with your content you need to do different strategies there's something that you're trying to implement maybe you released a documentary that won't fall into your uh, membership pricing model you want to sell that individually or you want to give people the option to maybe just buy maybe they don't want to buy you know um, a, a membership or whatnot pay a monthly fee and they just like only certain pieces of content that you actually do and they just want to make a one-time purchase or they just want to rent it and that's it they don't want to download or anything else they don't want this lifetime access they just want a a temporary view of it and just be done with it you screen will give you those options so when we talk about multiple opportunities for revenue it's all it's all here in you screen Everything is, is going to take care of you. That's going to be the biggest advantage it's going to have over Patreon, you know, in terms of, you know, you being able to earn money or whatever the case may be. Um, I mean, you know, Patreon is, is, is limiting. I believe it is. You know, Patreon, only thing I could say Patreon has over you screen is the fact that there's no upfront cost. Like I said here in the pricing, which is why I wanted to bring this up. There's no upfront cost, even though there's like three levels for you to choose from. As a creator, video creator, course creator, whatever the case may be, educator, what have you, because you will have to pay for upfront time because you're using Uscreen's servers. All right. Um, maybe that's that's the deal breaker for you, but you have to look at this as an investment and a long term plan in terms of what are you trying to do with your content. And if you end up going into a territory that's going to cost you your channel and cost you like that censorship, as we talked about you know in patreon's terms of service and community guidelines is it going to be worth it you know sometimes trying to go cheap and trying to go free isn't the always the best solution for you to do and i've learned that just firsthand in, in regards to some things that i've done because i decided to go cheap you go cheap on a computer i mean you know long term you, you discover that you can't do you can't <laughs> do any video editing on it uh, it goes out after a certain period of time after one year of having it It wasn't worth going cheap and everything else. It just got destroyed or whatever just over a short period of time You know and you could be risking that going back when we're talking about with patreon But if you're if the you know, no upfront cost is going to be good for you in your current situation Then stick with them that that's why I said this isn't I'm a you screen Let's just say I am a you screen um web designer all right i haven't been hired by the company per se or whatnot but i've worked on several sites for people with you screen and, and now i'm just trying to focus on helping people with this platform and also being an affiliate with them i'm going to be upfront about that but i didn't i was a i was a how should i say a vimeo ott um advent for the longest time until i dealt with a client that actually was trying to use vimeo ott and then they asked me have you ever heard of patreon 
Have you ever heard of, of, of them? And I was like, no, what, what's Patreon? I mean, not Patreon. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Uscreen? I keep saying Patreon come on this page. Have you ever heard of Uscreen? I was like, no, who's, what, what's your Uscreen? And then I came and I built the website for them uh, using Uscreen. I built their streaming platform or what have you. All right. And actually, I will show you um, their platform right now. And that is, uh, let me see here, Uscreen. He was the one that actually put me up on game, and he's his his website, his stuff is built off of Uscreen. If I'm honest with you, all right. So his is using the Uscreen platform in order to do his courses, in order to sell his uh, link to his product website, all of that. You know, and here he is. He has he's able to organize his courses um, in a way that actually he needs to. You know, you have to. You probably don't even have to have a, a monthly membership, but if you just want to just buy. You know, individual courses, wherever the case may be. He, this is what he's offering for each of those sets of courses. So, if I was to click on this, steps to starting a YouTube channel, uh, here it is, right here. So, he has this already set up, and this is also built on Uscreen. All right, so, so you Herbalist Kareem's website looks amazing right now. It looks excellent, built and using this for Uscreen framework. Uh, you can also have and, and talk with you screen to work to remove that powered by you screen on here. So that way you, you want to remove, you want to have your own branding imprint. That's super important. I don't think people underestimate how important the uh, whole powered by the the, the the footer area in terms of having that signature, removing that, that needs to be completely gone because identity is important and having your you know your viewers your customers whoever the case may be be able to see you in full light that this is yours without giving some sort of hint or clue that that's what they're using is going to be key in terms of your branding in terms of how you actually appear to your base and just your online identity so you want all this to have your own insignia on it you know you screen is the engine but the front of the car the porsche the Mercedes Benz and everything else that's going to be herbalist Kareem's brand for cycles for life All right, so he's using the Uscreen engine and it's working extremely well for him right now um, So I would highly recommend that everybody definitely take a look and you know You can maybe ask him why he didn't go with the patreon route or whatever the case may be but you have options and See what works for you and check out your situation go ahead and just measure out whatever you need to measure out reason out whatever and make the make a decision that's going to be best for you that's really all that i have to say all right this video has ran long enough leave a comment below if you have any questions shoot me an inbox wherever the case may be and thank you guys for watching i will talk to y'all later